Okay, and one last method I want to show you for creating some rugs is the Forest Pro plugin. Okay. So let's say I want to make make the rug from little pieces of cloth, little rags, and I want to scatter them around on my plane object. To do that, first we need to create the objects we're going to scatter. I'm going to start with the plane, set it to two by two segments. Collapse to editable poly, go in, scale this bottom part down, rotate it maybe. And just make a random shape. And you can move the pivot point down here. Okay, make a copy. Deform it a bit more. Make another copy. some different deformations. Alright, I think that might be enough. Oh, let's assign them a rug material. Right, and let's create a Forest Pro object. Okay, just click on your rug object. And I'm not gonna enable the camera limit. Just I only have one camera and it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna change my geometry to custom objects and pick some of these little rugs here. Alright, let's start by going to our distribution map, setting the density to a much smaller value, okay, maybe 200, it's fine for now, at least we can see how it looks. Let's add a few more custom objects. and add the rest of our little rags. All right, I think that's enough. Uh, let's make some random transforms. Let's enable translation, rotation, scale, let's increase it from 50 to 150. I want to make them all a bit smaller by 
by reducing the global scale. Over here, now let's set it to 50, maybe 75. It's a quick way to adjust the scale of all the objects at the same time. And that's fine. Let's increase the density by reducing the threshold and reducing the density units. Okay, that's good. We can change it to mesh if you want to see how it looks in the viewport and render it. Okay, it looks decent. Maybe let's let's change the let's change the rotation transforms to add some rotation on the x and y axis as well. Okay, that's good. So just assign a fabric material you like and the rug is pretty much done.